I'm going to go ahead and take these big old wheels off here. This is not even close to the style of what I'm going to be running later. So for now, I'm just going to go ahead and put some stock ones back on it. That way I can get a better idea of just how far this is going to stick out past the fender because this stuck out a little bit and I, I think it stuck out more than uh, what the factory wheels will. So I'm going to get a better idea. I'm going to go ahead and swap those out right quick. Okay, so this is what I was wanting to see here. Judging by this, nothing's really gonna stick out inside the fender well. I think we're uh, gonna do pretty good on our clearances. Went ahead and stuck the, uh, the big wide wheel on the back. Kind of more of a hot rod look. <laughs> but anyway, that's just, these are just temporary wheels and tires. We'll get something else on there later. But uh, the ones I'm gonna run are not gonna be wide like that, so. They're, like I said earlier, they're going to be closer to stock, so I went ahead and put the stock on there. This gives me a little more room to work. I can get up in there and get to my fender bolts a lot easier, stuff like that. Not having the big gigantic wheels and tires in the way. How cool would it be to put these on there, man? Could you imagine having those on the back of there? Wrong bolt pattern. These are five lug, mine are six. I'd probably have to change the whole rear end out to make those fit. But man, that would look good. This is where the old cab and the new cab meet together and we're kind of held up a little bit here. That's why we got the space. So I'm going to go ahead and make me a reference mark so that I could get in there and trim a little bit more off of the, uh, the old cab, the Datsun cab, and a little bit more off of the Nissan cab or firewall, whatever you want to call this. Uh, we'll get it trimmed down to where hopefully we can close this gap up a little bit more. Let's see. paint marker made a little bit of a mess but you can see that white line right there that's where those two pieces meet the uh, the old 1970 Datsun cab and this Nissan firewall meet right there well we need that to come down a little bit lower if we can but as you can see we are running into our mounting tabs these are all the brackets that hold the all the heat and air duct work in so 
We may have to uh, lower these or something because see how they're sticking up real high? Uh, might could trim some of, the, some of it off a little bit. We don't know yet. This is the part where we got to start slowing down. I am going to come in and make a cut on that line. All right, all the way across, all the way out to there. All the way across and uh, we'll do the same thing on the cab itself and see if we can't get that space that was in here. See if we can't get that shut. So I just ran me some masking tape. This is going to be my cut line right on top of this tape. We're just going to come through here and just trim off this a little bit right here and see if we can't get that to sit down on there some more. Alright, so as you can see, we cut all along through here on our tape line. Just got this one little piece over here and then our little spot welds and we'll have this part cleaned up. We'll go through and dress up some of this and then we'll cut some more off of the firewall on the Nissan. Alright, I'm just getting in here with my flapper disc, just coming in here and just kind of dressing up all these edges.
All right, so this is where my windshield wipers mounted. We managed to keep the mounting points. This, these bolts here that run along through here, those are what actually bolt the old dash in. So we've managed to save those mounting points as well. All right, we have trimmed at least, I would say probably about that much more off of the, all the way across the top of here. So we're down, we're all the way into our brackets that actually hold all of our duct work in for the heat and air. We can't really go any lower. This we're not worried about. We can lower that down later. But where the, the, the Datsun cab and this Nissan firewall meet, I think we might got it now. I think it may, may lay flat on here. But there's only one way to find out. So here we go again. Let's put that cab back on. I don't know what I was thinking, but I knew I should have cut this little piece off. I'm going to go and get it out of the way right quick. All right, look how much better that lays down on there. I mean, our gap is almost completely gone now. Uh, I think if I was to come, this this layer here, I think if I was to come in underneath here and just kind of trim it a little more like this, I think it would lay down a little bit further. But I don't know, man, that's not too bad right there. What we'll do is we'll refit our fenders and make sure our wheel is still in the center of our uh, wheel well. And if it is, then we know we're sitting where we need to be. The last thing you want to do is stick your fender on here and find out that the wheel is too far forward, too far backward, whatever. It'll look terrible. So we'll refit our fender, see where we're at, get an idea. But man, I'm really, really happy with the way this is turning out. This is finally sitting down on here the way I want it. That's a big deal.
All right, I think that looks pretty good. I mean, that is perfectly centered in, right in the wheel well. I don't think it's too far forward, too far back, but it's still kind of, it's just kind of hard to tell with it being up so high. Let's see if we can fix that right quick. more like it. It's getting closer. So that's getting to be about where I want it for now until it gets bagged. When we put the airbags on it, it'll get be way lower than that. We're still jacked up in the back. We've got to put our three inch lower in blocks. Probably go four inch lower in blocks in the rear. Get the rear down a little bit. But man, that looks a lot better, just like that. That is, that's a good, um, I would say ride height, but technically I actually ride a little lower than that. But we're getting close. I like it sitting down there a lot better than the way it was sitting. And, that, and those wheels that were on the back were just too big. Those used to be on the front, like you saw earlier. Those were just too big. This will be a lot better, I think. So up inside of here, Check it out, man. Everything is fitting really nice. It's finally down to where it needs to be, I think. And this is why we, we started slowing down on our cutting. I wanted to kind of show you guys. If, I mean, can you see how good that is starting to meet up inside of there? I mean, that is perfect. We don't have any big giant gaps that we're going to have to go fill back in. Uh, I do think... I'll probably have to, uh, let me get the light over here. I do think I'll probably have to do a little more trimming on this side, like right around in this area here. You can see where that's kind of crammed up against there. That's not going to work. Uh, but we could shorten that, I'd say probably about an inch, and get it to work, go toward the uh, passenger side a little bit. And uh, that'll give us a little more room there. Otherwise, man, everything is really starting to come together. We'll get in here we'll trim all of this up. We'll have to fill this back in. Uh, like I said earlier, we're going to move this rear body mount in, put it right around in here somewhere, and then just trim off the rest of this floor that we won't need. Uh, steering wheel's definitely got to get shortened. It's sticking way out into the cab too far. I would like for this steering wheel to be probably about right in here somewhere. I think that would be perfect. Uh, went ahead and moved my computer out of the way. Like I said earlier, we're going to put all that in the middle over there and build a console over it. We'll be removing this on the next video on both sides so that we have a nice flat floor so that we can sit all the way down on the floor. And I don't know, you know, a seat like here, I got a seat cushion here. This is a boat seat that I've just been kind of using as a reference just to kind of get an idea of how much headroom I'm going to need. And uh, this is perfect. I mean, if I could get something going about like this, uh, I, I, I think that would work fine because it gives me plenty of headroom, no problem there, plenty of leg room. Uh, I think that'll work out just great. And we're going to run a couple of bucket seats with a center console in the middle. And uh, we're going to keep it simple, you know. But it's coming along good. And I apologize, you guys. These projects just take forever. That's just how it goes. I know some of you are probably just bored to death of all this cutting and trimming and pulling the cab off 9,000 times, but that's just the way these projects are. Bear with me. I mean, look, every time we do a video, we get just closer and closer and closer. I am so happy with the way this is finally starting to lay down on there, just the way we wanted. Cool deal. This is something I really like doesn't seem like our wheels are going to stick out too far so that's a good deal i was worried about that i know there's a lot of you know drift drift car type vehicles these these old Datsuns, they they tend to uh kind of lend themselves toward that style uh where they put the big wide wheels and the big fender flares and all that i'm not really going that route with it i don't think um i think i'm going to go more like 
I just want it to be bagged, I want it to be slammed, and I want my wheels and tires to actually still fit up inside of the fender wheels like they're supposed to. I don't want them sticking out. I don't want to cut my fenders out and have to put in uh, any kind of big giant fender flares. That's just not the look I'm going for. I like that style. I think it's a great style, but that's not the look I'm going for on here. I want this truck to stay old school in style as far as the way it looks, but I just want it slammed. I want this thing down on the ground. Some of you guys probably think I'm crazy, but it will have airbag suspension. That means it's adjustable. You flip a switch and it goes right back up where you need it. I'll still be able to haul a jet ski, a dirt bike, whatever. It'll be just fine. It'll go up and down my rough driveway, no problem. Flip of a switch, I'm back up in the air. So it'll work out fine. You'll see, and it's a cool, it's a cool style. It's, it's just what I'm into. Different strokes for different folks. Everybody's different, but that's that's the kind of style I'm into, and uh, it's coming along good, man. I mean, just having it down like that, man. That that's motivational, dude. I'm I'm glad I went ahead and did that because just looking at it like that, it's like, oh man, I can't wait to uh, figure out what we're gonna do on this body drop. I don't. I honestly don't think I could go any lower with the cab. I'll run out of headroom, so. What we're gonna do under here, obviously, since we cut the rocker panels off, we're missing about this much, right? Uh, what I would like to do probably is come in and build in kind of a recessed area here for a big side pipe to go in right here. And that way, instead of having a side pipe that sticks out, you know, it'll actually be recessed up inside of there and the side pipe actually becomes the rocker panel and it will kind of come back in here and fill in that void remember we talked earlier about how the, the for some reason the truck bids the sides of the truck bids never matched the sides of the uh the uh, cab for some reason the cab had a rocker panel that came down to here but then the bed was chopped off all the way up here and it just always looks so funny. I never liked that. So this way what we'll do is we'll come in and probably build in a, a, a custom side pipe that actually is integrated into the body and kind of becomes the rocker. It'll extend back into the bed and then kind of dump out the side right there. I think that'll be a good look and it'll help kind of bring the body of the truck down even further, which I think will look good. And when we air the truck out, all of this will go straight down and it will literally sit right on those side pipes. I think it'll look killer. That's what we're gonna go for, that's the plan. But for now, you know, that's another video. I think we did pretty good for today. Sometimes I forget how fun this is. I get wrapped up in flipping cars and, and keeping the business going, keeping the bills paid, and I don't get to get out here as much as I'd like. And uh, every time I come out here, I, I actually have a pretty good time. So I need to get out here a little bit more. Uh, we've been working on these other trucks. This here is my boy's truck, my youngest boy. Some of you guys know him from channel Tegrity Whips. I will leave a uh, link in the description for that channel. We're, we're fixing this one up over here, and I think we've got her figured out. So you guys, any of you following along know that we were having a trouble with the, uh, the uh, crank gear. The uh, woodruff key had wallered out the groove in the crank gear and so the timing was all out of whack and we couldn't get it to run right so uh, I think uh, we have got that figured out so you guys don't want to miss that my oldest boy he's working on that Chevy love over at low love life you'll want to see his channel I'm gonna give you guys a little sneak peek hopefully y'all can see it's dark outside I'll, I'll see if we can get some lighting check it out man I never thought white wall tires would look so good with white letters <laughs> i think that is just awesome so he's, he's been working really hard on that truck and uh he's about to have another video ready for you guys so you don't want to miss that go check out low love life uh, also <laughs> lots of channels coming out of this shop uh my daughter's also got a channel over there me myself and darlene she's working on a 94 nissan hard body and she's been putting a lot of work into that. She's got the interior looking like brand new. I'm really proud of her. She's been doing a good job over there. Uh, unfortunately, she hasn't uploaded in a little while. She's been really, really sick, but she's starting to feel a little better. We'll get a video out for her as well. But anyway, uh, you guys, don't forget my Instagram. Uh, I'll leave a link in the description for that, but I'm out of here. 
It's getting kind of late. Uh, I got things to do tomorrow, so I'm going to hit the bed. I'll see you guys later.